It not just, it's not just people who are suffering from Australia's extreme weather events. The East Coast's grey-headed flying fox population has been devastated by heat waves and drought in recent years. And while La Nina has helped keep the bats cool so far this summer, volunteers in Western Sydney are trialling a new system for when the hot days roll around again. With a flap of the wings, these flying foxes in Western Sydney are trying to keep themselves cool on hot summer days. Now they're getting a bit of outside help from a newly installed sprinkler system. The use of sprinklers to cool the microclimate and save flying foxes on extreme heat days is very new technology. Flying foxes who are exposed to heat from extreme weather events, they die a slow and prolonged death. It's an unpleasant death. It's hoped the new installation can help prevent a repeat of the 2018 and 19 summer when the colony was hit by drought and extreme heat. And then we came into that extremely hot summer and we had a, a series of heat stress events, uh, one early, and we lost, well, we counted about 6,000 dead that we picked up and cleaned up just in our park. And if we can prevent that by technology such as the sprinkler system, um, and that results in animals being saved from that horrific um, death, then that's a, that's a great project to be involved with. This colony has been here for at least two centuries. And while hopes for the new technology are high, it's still experimental. Ecologists are concerned it may not be enough to counter the effects of climate change. Flying fox roosts are naturally cooler spots in the landscape and increasing the shrubs and the mid canopy vegetation is really important for cooling those sites. Otherwise, we're talking about global action to reduce the frequency and intensity of heat stress events. A global problem that still has room for local solutions. Marianne Toke, ABC News, Sydney.